Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to be exploring the if function in Excel. To review this function we'll start off with the basics, but we'll also take a look at how to use nested formulas with the if function. We'll also take a look at how to add and or statements to the if function with some additional tips as well. Let's jump in. To get us started with the if function basics, we have here a basic candy store spreadsheet. Let's use the if function to label instances where candy store sold 200 gummies or more as good and under 200 as poor. To begin, I'll enter the if function and double click to input it in. The if function has one required argument, which is the logical test, but we'll also be utilizing the two optional arguments here in these examples today of the value of true, meaning the logical test is true, and the value if false, meaning the logical test is not true. To get the result we're looking for, the logical test will be the amount of gummies sold, and I can enter that in by clicking the cell. I'll then enter a greater than and equal to symbol back to back, and our threshold was 200, so I'll type that in. After a comma, the value of true, we want it to label as good. Make sure to put text in quotations with your function. Another comma and the value of false, I'll label as poor. Close parentheses and click enter. Now when I drag this formula down, you'll see Excel has applied our logic correctly to each of the rows for these candy stores. In our next example, we're going to take a look at how we can use nested formulas with the if function to get our desired results. I want to provide a discount to each of these candy stores based on the amount of product that they sell. We'll use the same logic as before. So for candy stores with gummy sales of 200 or more, we'll apply a discount of 10%. For sales of under 200, we'll apply a discount of 3%. We'll begin again by entering the if function. As mentioned, the logical test will be the same as before. I'll click the cell with gummy sold, enter greater than or equal to 200. For the value of true, we're going to take the cost per item, so I can click to enter that cell, and multiply that by a discount of 10%. After another comma for the value of false, again I'll enter the cost per item cell, and this discount we mentioned would be 3%. I'll close parentheses and click enter. Now when I drag this function down, you'll see our formula was applied correctly, and stores with sales of 200 or more have a higher discount of 10%, while other store sales have a discount of 3%. Now we're gonna take a look at how we can incorporate the AND function, or the OR function, nested within our IF formula. Similar to our first example, I want to be able to label the amount of gummies and taffy sold as good or poor depending on the amount. For each of these stores, if both the total of gummies sold and taffy sold is greater than or equal to 200, we'll label that as good. However, if one or both are under 200, we'll label that as poor. To begin, we'll enter the if function. Directly after, we'll enter the and function. As you can see, the AND function allows you to enter as many logical tests as desired. Our first logical test that we'll input is the cell for gummy sold. We'll input that as greater than or equal to 200. After a comma, our second logical test will be taffy sold, so we'll enter in that cell, and input that as greater than or equal to 200 as well. After a close parentheses, you'll see the function returns back to the if formula, and our logical test has been input. After a comma, the value of true will label the sales as good. I'll select Alt plus Enter on the keyboard to go to the next line. And after another comma, the value of false will label as poor. Close parentheses and click Enter. Now you can see Excel labeled instances where both gummies sold and taffy sold were greater than or equal to 200 as good, but instances where both criteria weren't met, Excel labeled as poor correctly. Let's try this logic again, but this time we're gonna use the OR function nested within the IF formula instead of the AND function. I'll begin again by entering equals IF and then OR. Similar to the AND function, the OR function requires as many arguments as desired. Just like before, I'll enter in the cell for gummy sold and input that as greater than or equal to 200. I'll press Alt plus Enter on the keyboard to help with visibility. I'll enter a comma. For our second logical test, we'll click the cell for taffy sold and input that as greater than or equal to 200 as well. Now close parentheses for our OR function and we're back to the IF logical test. 
I'll input a comma for the value of true and we'll input that as good. Final comma and the value of false will be poor. Close parentheses and click enter. Now you can see we have many more sales results listed as good. Because Excel is reviewing both gummy sold and taffy sold, if either column contains a value of 200 for the store, the result is listed as good. Finally, let's take a look at how we can use the nested if function to test multiple criteria for our spreadsheet. We'll use the nested if function to apply a different discount based on the number of gummies sold for each store. We'll begin by entering in our if function. Our logical test will be the gummies sold greater than or equal to a value of 300 for our largest discount band. We start with the largest amount in this case so that if the value is false, Excel will move on to our nested if formula. For the value of true, we'll input the cost per item and multiply that by a discount of 10%. I'll press Alt plus Enter on the keyboard to help with visibility. After a comma, the value of false will be our nested if function. Our logical test will again be the amount of gummies sold, set greater than or equal to 200. For the value of true, we'll multiply the cost per item times a discount of 7%. I'll press Alt plus Enter again, another comma, and for our final if function, we'll again enter our logical test. Gummy sold greater than or equal to 100. The value of true will be the cost per item multiplied by a discount of 3%. To wrap up this function, we'll enter three close parentheses and click enter. As you can see team, the correct discount has been applied based on the number of gummies sold. I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and ring that notification bell.